Today I'm going to give you my top tips on planting out flowers in your garden for a beautiful display for years to come. The first thing you want to do is ensure that you've chosen the right plant for the right location. You don't want to be planting a plant that requires full sun in a full shade position and vice versa. So this little plant here requires both full sun and part shade which you will get both of once the fig tree and the cherry tree get their leaves that were shaded out during those hot summer afternoons. You also want to ensure that you remove any flowers from the plant because if you don't the plant will do everything it can to ensure that the flowers continue to bloom and the plant itself will actually suffer and could even die from this. Now that we've ensured we've chosen the right plant for the right location and removed any flowers from the plant to lessen the stress when we plant it in the ground, it's time to dig the hole. Now when it comes time to dig the hole, you want to dig the hole twice the size of the pot that the plant comes in. So let's get started. Okay, so here we can see there's plenty of room all the way around the plant to backfill in and also the height of the soil from the pot is the same as the ground. You want to ensure that you don't plant the plant too deep or too high as this can cause problems for the root system. Now that we've taken the plant out of the pot, we can see that it is a little bit root bound from being inside the pot. So a simple way that we can help the plant out here is to tease the roots open a little bit. Just rotate the, ball, the root ball around and just tease them out so that when the roots begin to grow in the soil, they will go out instead of continuing to spiral around and maybe suffocating the root system and even killing the plant. So we just go all the way around and just tease the root system out a little bit. Now that we've got the plant in the hole, it's time to backfill around it. Now all we do is simply, like we just said, backfill around the plant. There is no need to come along and crush this all the way down, all the way around the plant, as it will squash any little air pockets out of there for the root system to grow into. So the best thing we can do is simply just push the soil around it, just give it a firm little push, but like I said, don't crush it right down. And the next most important thing is water. So once we've backfilled all the way around it, we need to give the, the plant a good deep drink. And there you go, it's as simple as that. Then we just give it a good drink, and that's it, she's ready to go. Now at this point, you could give the plant a feed if you wanted to. You don't have to just water it. You could use a seaweed solution or a fish emulsion, or even a slowly released pelletized fertilizer to give the plant a feed and help it along. I also use cum free tea on my plants. There'll be a link at the end of this video to see how I make that. And there you go. We've given our plant the best start to a healthy and happy life. And in return, it will produce heaps of flowers for us to enjoy. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe to the channel. And thanks and bye for now.